I'm an artist. You're an artist. We are all artists. Today I will sculpt Belial, the conjoined twin forcibly separated from his brother Dwayne from the 1982 cult horror film Basket Case. I start off with an illustration for the dual purpose of inspiration and for scale, as the sculpture will be the same size as the drawing. And of course, I always want to recognize the creators of the content that I sculpt or make art to, and in this case, Mr. Frank Henenlotter. Oh, and I realized I didn't introduce myself yet to those that are here the first time. It's nice to have you here. My name is Juan Scribe, and those that are returning, it's great to have you back. Thank you so much for your support. Welcome back to Ethereal Art Studio. And here I have some materials that I will use, as well as a light that will allow Belial's eyes to glow bright red, as in the film. So onto the armature, which consists of wire, tape, and the red lights that I will be using. I'm going to be using some monster clay. I have some here that's softened, which I will begin to apply tightly onto the armature. I pack it on, and for the moment, it's just my hands, my most important tools. After which, I'll use some carving tools, knives, and a variety of sculpting tools. So now I want to discuss the main character, antagonist, tragic villain. But before I do that, I want to implore you to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button and check out all of our other tutorials as well. So the name Belial can either mean worthless or wicked, or it could be the name of a demon in different religious literature. Either way, I couldn't help but feeling bad for him as he was pretty much discarded since birth, not given any kind of chance and was unloved by almost everybody. It reminded me a little bit of The Elephant Man, and the film actually reminded me, or if I were to describe it to somebody who hasn't watched it yet, I would say it's a mix, a mixture of The Elephant Man, E.T., and Child's Play. But what are your thoughts? What do you think about Belial? What do you think about the film in general? So for the eyes, right, I want them to glow red, so I have to, you know, I add a layer here, which is just plastic that I got from a container, a pastry container, and all I did was just cut out two ovals to use for the, the eyes that are going to be glowing from the inside out. So after adding a lot of details in the sculpting process, I'm going to use some isopropyl mirror state. This is so I can smooth out the sculpture using my fingers, also using a paintbrush, different tools, just to make it smoother all throughout. I know the character is very uneven and uh, asymmetrical and bumpy, but it still serves to make it you know, more natural looking, more like actual skin. And after that, I'm going to move on right to the painting process. So I'm going to start off with some black primer. And I'm going to add this primer throughout the whole sculpture. And of course, I'm going to let this dry really well before I then move on to painting it with some airbrush. I use white, peach, black, and yellow. Mix that up really well. I apply that to the sculpture evenly with the airbrush gun in short controlled bursts and I'm also going to use an actual paintbrush for some of the finer details like the eyes the mouth the teeth and the fingernails and here is a basket case that I ordered from Etsy and it just happens to be the perfect size it's the perfect size for Belial to go in there and then 
we can open the basket case together. Thanks so much for joining me in that CD New York City hotel to open the basket case. Please subscribe to our channel and watch all of our other sculpting videos. Also, check out etherealartsstudio.com.